Well, you know you messed up. Tell my grace cutting you, child, please. You don't fail from grace. How many know you can fall from grace? And you don't fail, you don't need nothing. Mercy keep you. But if you don't know, you'll be right your hook. Thank you, God, for the grace. You know, you need to say thank for the mercy because you should have been consumed already. Hallelujah. You don't fail from grace because you're not obedient to what he's saying. You're not doing what he told you to do. So you don't fail from grace. Oh, yeah. Grace comes with huh? Not by work. Not by work. What about the grace of God? That means you praise and thanking God for being saved. Let me take this prayer to you. Let me give you something so you can understand about the talk. Man. You thank God and praise you for making his righteousness and you know good to wear this only because of his righteousness that you are righteous. You know it ain't nothing you done done and nothing you doing because you know good while in your flesh you a mess. But in your spirit you are all God. You belong to God. And you continue to pray to God and go to my God for his grace and his mercy. But you know coming out of his grace. You oh, yeah. You better start knowing what you're doing because you're playing with some fire. Say fire. fire. And the pitiful thing is that you could continue to do something and never get nothing and think you done done everything you're supposed to have done. And you did nothing you're supposed to have done. Because you didn't come to church praise and worship God thanking you for it. You still a beggar. You're not a praise. You're not worshiping and glorifying God. You're a beggar. Y'all ain't gonna talk. You begging God to move for you when God already done move for you for who he gonna pre for know he predestined. He knew you gonna fall in that hole before you got in that hole. And you got to know that he brought me in the hole. He's gonna bring me out of this hole. So I'm praising and worshiping God while you talking about me, while you looking at me first. I'm praising and worshiping God because I know God knew that my people were gonna put me in this hole. That I'm coming out of this hole. And when I come out, I'm gonna be in a different place at a different time. And God will bless me. But you're too busy worried about the hole because you don't know who's the author and the finisher of your Amen. that you say you got. Amen. The author and the finisher of my faith. Amen. That means what he started, he gonna finish. I may have some down days, I may have some upset days, I may have some light days, but God ain't through with me yet. Why? Because God has predestined me and God knows me and he's my Say I've been amazing. Say I've been amazing. I've been amazing. He's done with me yet. Right. And guess what? I'm not going to give up on it. I'm not going to give up on it because he knows me. Yeah, I'm going through some things and things people don't understand, people don't believe. But I'm going to keep praising. The problem with folks is that they don't keep praising. They're going to roll their eyes and look at people funny and talk about other folks when they should have kept praising. I ain't stunning you because I know who my God is. And I know what he's doing in my life. I don't even understand it, but I know he's doing it. I know he's working something out in my life. I know he's doing something to me that I don't even know what he's doing. But I know why he's doing it because it's part of me need to be broken. I do need to be broken because I got a lot of pride. I got a lot of... Uh, y'all ain't gonna talk about something? Uh, ain't talking about, talk about some of y'all. <laughs> Look at me. Hey, God. But God is breaking. So I'm going through this, but I said I never would. And I said I'm fine and I am. How many say you never? I never do that. How many times you had to renege on that? I never begged God. You begged last week. <laughs> Isn't that true? Y'all are now. I was looking at me like this. Let me get a scripture because I wasn't going to get a scripture because y'all looking at me like I don't say something right. You've got to stop making sense of this. All this church going and all this praising and all this reading and all this praying you so-called doing you got to make sense of it. Because if you don't make sense of this it ain't going to add up. Two plus two will be nine. To know why you do what you do. I'm talking about for God. Why you pray? I praise and worship God like I'm doing because I need Him. 
Because I know me. Yeah. Yes. I need him because I know me. And if it wasn't for Jesus Christ, death and resurrection, ain't no way I would have been. I know this. If it wasn't for his grace and his mercy and his long suffering, say long suffering. Don't forget about that long suffering. Because he's been putting up with you a long, 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 long time. And you hear people always talking about his grace and mercy, but don't forget that long suffering. Because some of y'all still can't say three words without cussing somebody out. Uh, 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 I love this part. I like to say to five people. Sometimes I say to five people, the vehicle at the car and say, well, I'll get to you next week. They know good when they got no chance to get that man next week. And they'll lie to us. And then Lord forgive me. Before they even get a phone good, they Lord forgive me because he ain't getting nothing. Long suffering. You just say, God, thanks for your long suffering because you're putting up with me. How many know God put up with you? How many know He don't have to put up with you? But He put up with you. Ain't that what I'm I'm looking at my iPad. This is going to kick off on me. Maybe they don't want me to get on here today. I don't want to get on here today, but I can't be doing it. I ain't going to stretch myself out trying to talk, pull a nothing at you. That ain't on top of you. I ain't finna. And them days over, I remember I used to do it. Uh, Holy Ghost say. Uh, uh, I got older than I'm I don't know what they say, my wisdom code ain't, you know? I got a little more wise. I ain't finna pull it You ain't got no praise on You got to talk down on the table three. And you're gonna tell me, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. He's a beautiful praying to her. And, and, and so, you're getting deep and ain't saying that. <laughs> ain't over your mouth, man. Can't say thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I'm sitting there looking at how in the world <laughs> they getting all that there and ain't saying Jesus nothing. That music got And they don't know why they're doing what they're doing. They got an opportunity where the Spirit of God is on them. And they got an opportunity to begin to thank Him and praise Him for what He was dealing with. He came before you came. He was on you before you got ready. He ready to move for you already. And you ain't even opened up your mouth yet. And He's ready to do something in your life. And you ain't even know what's going on. He's seen you from a distance. And when you came in, He's already on you. He's already doing it. Out of this. 
make spiritual sense out of this. You can't make no natural sense out of it because it don't make no natural sense. But you got to start making some spiritual sense out of here. Why God keep bringing chills through my body? Why God keep touching me? God telling me something. But God telling me something, but he want me to speak it. He moving on me, but he want me to speak something. So you got to make sense of this 
Because I'm taking so, and I, I'm trying to go off this because, but you guys not making sense of this. I'm just, I'm just seeing this guy, this don't make no sense. They keep coming to church. Oh, y'all look at it again. And not getting what you need. It become religious. Oh, and it's something where you can come to church and don't expect God to move. Because of your experience. That just don't make no sense to keep doing the same thing, getting the same result. That's called insanity. And until you begin to start making sense out of you coming to church, because I believe God gonna move for me, and God gonna change some things in my life, and God gonna open up some doors, and I need God, and I don't only need him to do it, he's gonna do it. Say he's gonna do it. You got to begin to turn and know he's gonna do it. He's gonna move for me, he's gonna bless me. You got to get a, a boldness about yourself. When you begin to say, God, I know he's going to do Because I'm not coming to no church staying three hours for nothing. I ain't coming to be praying and stand on my feet and my knees hurt for nothing. I'm getting up because I know God getting ready to move in my life. I'm not going to come and sit down and listen to something for three hours and leave here the same way. And I'm not going to preach this for three hours if I ain't expecting something different in my life. Y'all too easy, see? see. Y'all too easy. Y'all let us slide, y'all. Uh, there ain't no way. I'm not gonna keep driving from East Blackham over here in this schoolhouse. Over there. 
He had to look there. And we over here. Hey! Look him out, overseer. She made a deal. I ain't think she's gonna cut me that long driving ride. But she made it looking good with an afro. God open up, shut up! Open it yourself. You ain't raise your Bible. Take authority. I need God. He's done it. It's finished. He done done all he want to do. It's up to you now to live the life that he's promised you, but you got to take it by force. You can't just sit back and just think that everybody going to just fall in and that mess is going to work and and the money gonna fall in line. And so who told you that? Who told you that because you saved that you ain't got to pay for what's yours? Who told you that? Who lied to you?
Oh, y'all. Yeah. The only thing that you deal with the devil is the doubt and unbelief he tried to bring into your thoughts. That God's word ain't true. Y'all ain't gonna talk. And you got torment spirit, you got spirit of fear, you got all these other spirits, and that's what you're dealing with. Why? Because they play on your mind. Everything is up to you. Because God gave it to me. God gave it to me, and it's mine. Y'all ain't gonna talk. Hallelujah. Y'all. I had, a, I had a gun on you. I mean, hey, God, you. Ain't it mighty God? Ain't it mighty God? Hey, what you going, bro, sir? What you going? A man, my husband, to come forward and my name did them. I have a big period of my name. You would not make me doubt God because I actually he's given it to me. I command my house to line up. And never you got to leave because I spoke it and it sells it in heaven. And my angels are working on my behalf right now in the mighty name of Jesus. You have no power, have no authority to be here. You have no right to be around my house or around my stuff with my money or with my money. You have no right to mess with what's mine. Because everything I got is holy and righteous and come from God. For I am an ambassador in Christ and all my stuff that come from the world, it came from God. And you have no right to trust this holy stuff. Everybody in your life. You ain't using the power of authority in your life. In your house, you got demons running around there testing everything in there. And you want a ministry of dead old demons? And you can't deal with your personal ones? And they run around in your house and mess with your stuff. You came up find your left shoe. <laughs> and you know where you put it. You move the stuff around thinking you're going crazy. And you came up to deal with them and you're talking about ministry. Oh. No. Mr. No. You're going to be like the sons of steel. You're going to run out of that neck. Because you have to take authority in your life. No matter the supernatural. You're taking it natural. If you don't make it on your job, you think it's all right. It ain't all right. Because I'm a 
ambassador of Christ, God taking care of me. He might use the sister to come through some way, but the other way he's going to have to take supernatural God and touch somebody's heart or do something in my life to bring another one. You ain't going to be nothing on that. you lack lacking everything. But you're a believer, right? But you ain't making no sense. It ain't making no sense. I believe in supernatural. Why you ain't using it? Why are you getting the benefits of it? Why are you upset about lacking in this area when you're not doing supernatural, praying to God supernaturally for them to find you being a bastard of Christ? That all your stuff got to come from glory, from heaven. It's not man given, it's God driven, and it's come down from heaven, and God used the sick brain for you. And you ain't doing no, no. You mad at the people that will let you work over that. Down, talking about supernatural, you ain't living the supernatural life. And you're not even applying it. The hell y'all mess me up today? Why y'all do this to me? It's the truth. I'm saying it, I'm going to say it a hundred times. What that makes sense of this? It's time to make sense of this. so holy and righteous when you ain't making no sense. Amen. All that jumping up and down and all of that, you ain't got gas money. And he's your provider. I don't want that. Y'all ain't making no sense. Come on! Come on! I told you, come on! I got two over here. You got to put the word to work in your life. Yeah. It's got to work for you. It's got to work for you. Because yeah. if it don't work for you, many are going to be lost because of you. Hallelujah. Because you're saying something. 
wonder. It ain't making no sense for me to do what you do. I see no miracles in your life. I see no supernatural values in your life. I see nothing benefit me from coming out of this club and coming out my rap songs to deal with you. Because what you're saying ain't making no sense. I see no manifestation. You know what I'm talking to? You don't look at me. Huh? Come on, keep looking at me. Oh, fire get on me. Ain't God's home. It's just that you ain't making no sense out of what you read and what you do. You say you're trusting in God, but you're trusting in everything else but God. Because we have to sacrifice, we have to come to the level, we have to come to that place to cross over. When everything goes to looking bad and everything looks like you're going to lose something, you can be back up and hold on to what you got. Because you won't surrender over to God and let God take over. Because when you get on that line, you think it's the devil who's God transitioning you over, but you can't go. Because you won't let go of the things of the world. And that's why people can't transfer over to the spiritual realm. Because when it gets too tough, when you really have to surrender your life, Surrender your stuff and totally surrender to God, you back up. And you never transition. But you still can act like everything, right? But it ain't making no sense. Actually, true, it ain't making no sense. Why should I pray? Why I got to go to church? Oh, y'all ain't looking for that. I'm putting it down. This might be my last time. I don't know. <laughs> it's real stuff. Ain't it real? I, I'm going to say it again. I'm going to have to continue. You got to start making sense now. But you got to understand the order of God. You got to start putting things in perspective and begin to understand how God's work. You can't be ignorant to the way God works and think God going to work. You got to learn this thing. And you learn it from first you're learning how to praise him and how to worship him. Because if you don't know how to worship him and connect that worship with you. My worship is in everything I need you to do but I believe you are the one that's going to do it for me and through me. My worship ain't disconnected to me. It's connected to me. He's my El Shaddai. I need you to supply my empathy to come to your riches and glory. And I believe you can do it. So I worship you in that. And when the Spirit of God come on me and begin to bear witness to it, I begin to praise Him. Thank you for healing me. Thank you for delivering me. Thank you for but thank you for healing me. I'm confirmed through the Spirit, and it's going to manifest in my life. But I my worship ain't even connected to me. It's only connected to Him. He know who He is, but who do you need Him to be? Who am I? I am that I am. Whatever you need me to be, I'm going to be there for you. If you need me to be your healer, I'll be your healer. If you need me to be your provider, I'll be your provider. A man you will come with. I am that I am. When you worship me, you tell me what you need me to be. You tell me where you need me to go. You tell me what you need me to fix. You tell me what, what you need me to provide. And I'll do it for you if you worship me. And if you worship me and praise me, I'll begin to move in your life like never before. I'll begin to bless you and you'll notice me and you'll understand me so you'll make an altar. You begin to praise me when you think about it. You'll find it. You begin to praise me. When you start talking about the hills, you begin to praise me. Because now you have an altar within you that God has provided for me. God has made a way for me. And every time I hear it, I begin to worship and he'll show Because now I have an altar within me. My altar within me. And every time I come to that place, 
when my money goes back, I can go to my altar. I begin to remember the recognition. Jesus Christ. 